Today we're going over the USGI Extreme Cold Weather Boot, otherwise known as the Mickey Boot. Stay tuned. Alright, so I've been using these boots for about a year now, so I figured it's time to uh, make up a video quick and then I'll uh, give you my thoughts on them. Um, first off, I can give you a quick little overview of them. This little uh, shelf on the back here is for uh, snowshoes or skis. The strap for the binding goes across there. And these treads are real nice. They're actually uh, very quiet when you're walking on uh, hard surfaces, which is great for when the uh, the family sleep and you get up early in the morning to go uh, hunting um, these don't have the valve on them some models have a valve some don't um, this particular one doesn't um, i got these as new old stock about a year ago from uh, coleman's military surplus they're dated um april 10th 1979 so like i said new old stock even after years of use they've got uh, they're still in excellent condition um, these are perfect when I got them, so there was no doubt these were brand new sitting on a shelf somewhere. <clears throat> uh, my biggest complaint on them is going to be the laces aren't quite long enough. You can see here I'm not even through the top eyelet. Uh, they're not even long enough. They're barely long enough to tie it right here, so I'm probably going to uh, replace this with, with some paracord most likely. So I can go longer and then lace them all up to the top and leave myself enough to, to fully tie them. Um, these are fully waterproof. Unless, of course, you get water in over the top. Um, Warmth-wise, I've gone as... Um, my feet typically get cold when I'm out hunting. Um, I've used 2,000 thin slit, 2,000 gram thin slit boots already, and my feet still get cold. Um, walking, I don't have a problem. It's when I sit down. Um, I used these this past hunting season. We were down in, I think, 22 was the lowest. And it took about seven hours of sitting before my feet actually started to get cold. And as far as walking around, um, my feet sweat big time with these. My socks were soaking wet when I got home. But with the design of these, the insulation is actually sandwiched between two layers of rubber. So the boot insulation never gets wet. That's typically why your feet are going to get cold is because the boot insulation gets wet and then uh, allows the cold in where this, your, your sweaty foot is sealed inside of a rubber chamber basically. So you're it's not going to get cold in that respect. So these definitely solved my problem for, for cold feet. Uh, sizing on these, they do run on the big side. Uh, you can see here, mine are 10 regular. I wear 11, 11 and a half, depending on the brand. And these fit loose with thin socks. If I put a pair of thick wool socks on, they fit perfect. So if you're going to order, um, order a size smaller than you normally would, like a 10 regular, I'm guessing most people are commenting they're in the 10 to 11 um, shoe size range and that's and these fit. So yeah, you definitely want to keep that in mind when you're uh, for sizing on these. As I stated earlier, I got these from uh, Coleman's Military Surplus uh, website. They were, uh, I think they were 30 bucks. I got them on like a Christmas special. They were, uh, I think, $23 at the time. Uh, right now, they're still $29.95, $99, something like that. 30 bucks basically. Um, as of filming this right now, they're still 30 bucks. So if you're thinking about getting a pair, they're definitely worth it. You're going to probably want to get them before they're gone, considering the fact that they're, you know, 40 years old and they're still in perfect condition. Um, the weight on these is uh, 3.24 pounds a piece. So your shipping's probably going to be, you're going to pay a little extra because of the shipping, because of the weight of them. But um, walking around in them, you don't really notice the weight. Uh, two weeks ago, I was on, I did almost eight miles in these feet didn't hurt at all and very comfortable feet were warm i said my socks were wet when i got done but feet were warm so that's the most important thing so um like i said before um i definitely recommend these if you're thinking about getting them don't hesitate especially for 30 bucks you can't go wrong so that's my review on them um hope you like what you saw if you haven't already please subscribe click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button that way you get notified of future videos and i want to thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time